Okay, first of all, talk fashion to me because we've gone monochromatic. This is spring. What is this? I mean, this is Rich Fresh. This is my guy. I wear him pretty exclusively at this point. He just likes to play with colors. You know, he knows what to do. I trust him completely. And uh, it's, a good, it's always a good vibe, you know. We wanted to, we're coming outside for the first time. So we decided to clean it up a bit. I was going to ask, how does it feel to be on a red carpet at an awards show and get to know how you're going to look and get dressed up? I mean, it's like weird. <laughs> It's a strange feeling to get out of sweatpants and put on actual pants. Um, but it also feels good. It's just sort of nice to see people. There's all this sort of this like euphoria in the air because we've been at our houses for so long. Anybody you're excited to see? We got DJ Khaled, Pink. Oh my God. You know, I just watched Pink's documentary last night on Amazon and I was thoroughly impressed. So I'm excited to see Pink because of that. But always her, you know, I just, I just walked past the Migos, which was always a fun experience. Um, th there's just so much good music out there. Is Drake performing? What's happening? He like Getting owns, an award. He yes. owns the billboards. <laughs> There's nobody on the billboards with Drake. I love how you just gave Pink some support. That was so nice. You're like, watch that documentary. <laughs> Yo, the doc is good, man. She's taking care of her kids. She's like working out. It's crazy. Now, speaking of music, you're starting your own label? Well, here's the deal. I'm like, I'm, I'm stepping in with Def Jam. Def Jam has given us some space and some money to bring in some artists, bring artist development back and uh, try to, you know, make some music, introduce some new uh, musicians to the culture. We're excited. What kind of artists do you want to bring to the forefront? Uh, you know, folks that will be around for a long time. I think that to me is what's exciting. Like, I've been able to follow, you know, some careers. Like, I remember when Erica Badu first dropped. I remember watching Brandy's first music video. You know what I mean? I remember hearing Whitney Houston's song on the radio, Great love of all and then I got to literally watch their careers like flourish and so my hope is to, to introduce some new artists that become you know classic can you tease for us anybody who you've signed um I can't but there is someone oh. that we've signed and you know she's amazing she's out of Atlanta she's R&B she's dope stay tuned okay so tonight are you like hey you need to collab with my girl like working for her you know what they're gonna want to collab I'm not gonna have to go follow them they're gonna be calling me they're gonna be like Yolina how do I get a feature I'm gonna be like look We'll talk about it, okay? Give us a discount. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Make a deal. Um, now, The Chai, what can you tell us about what we can expect next? Yo, The Chai this season is just like a whole new level. You know, we got a whole new producing director. Her name is Ganja. We got Candy Burris is back. We got Luke James is in the building. Lala Anthony is here. It's just a phenomenal season. I think it looks amazing. We've been hearing from people because we dropped the episode early. And folks have been happy, man, you know, because folks are very vocal if they do not like something, okay? But they've been really vocal about how much they've enjoyed the first episode of The Chai. So hopefully they feel that way about the whole season. It's going to be a wild ride. They are vocal. <laughs> They're vocal, man. It's How do you handle good. the vocals? You know, I, I usually don't say anything back because they always going to win. But I just try to, you know, keep making art, keep putting stuff out. And uh, they hopefully they just keep tuning in. And by the way, Candy, I mean, that's somebody who's been in the industry a long time. So when you said, I'm going to get into music, did you did you call Candy Burris at all? You know what? I should have called Candy. <laughs> Candy is so great because Candy and I are born on the same day. We're birthday twins, May 17th, tourist season just wrapped up. But, you know, she I have so much to learn from her. She's been in the game for a long time. She's a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. She does not play. Um, and she's just fun to be around. But, like, honestly, I should ask her some questions. I'm going to set a Zoom, you know. For this week. Stay tuned, Candy. Talk to me.